So that's the pump. Now the high pitch sound that you're hearing there, that's the controller. And the way this controller works is it switches at low speeds, it switches at like a few kilohertz, but at high speed, which you can hear, at high speeds it switches to 15, which is beyond what you ear can hear. So we put these panels in about almost two years ago, and we at the same time reduced our energy usage of the house, so we ended up having surplus power. And the way the law is, we have to give that power back to the utility, so we had to come up with a constructor way to use it. And I've always been interested in electric cars, so that's kind of why we got the electric car. So that's most of the time how we charge the batteries on the electric car is, uh, um, we'll be putting out excess power during the day, which the neighbors use, and then uh, when we get home at night, we plug the car in, and it uses power off the grid, uh, in, in, uh, and we're at basically a break-even now, where we generate, including the power used for the, to charge the car, we are using almost exactly what we're generating. But that's the charger in uh, there, and it charges very fast. We can go, you know, from being almost empty to almost full in about four hours, which is pretty good. And, and we what's full? What kind of range do you get on? They advertise 50 miles, but I would be too scared for 50. And the other thing is that if you get below about 20, 30 percent of charge, you're damaging your battery. So you really don't want to ever get that low. So. I think a more accurate is probably about 40 miles. So there's 16 batteries that uh, are six volt batteries, so that gives you a 96 volt system. They're all in series. And, um, sorry, dusty in here. And so they're all in series. And one of the things this guy has set up, these little small gauge wires go to a bank of LEDs that are on the dash so that you can kind of monitor the state of every individual battery. Because what happens when the battery packs fail is you get one battery that starts to go and that battery then starts hurting the others. And so if you can know up front that the one battery has started to go, you can replace just that one battery and it really prolongs the life of the pack. And um, so the controller is actually mounted in here and um, it takes that voltage and depending on how, it's like a carburetor for an electric car, the, depending on how far down you have the uh, accelerator pedal, it varies the width of the pulse and it pulses normally 15,000 times a second and the width of that pulse determines how much energy goes to the motor. In a series of transistors, right? Right, transistors, yeah, they're all in parallel and they pass and when you are giving it the full uh, thing, it's passing at like 400 amps, which is like four houses, everything on. Because uh, normally a house is like a hundred amp service. You explained how the previous controller failed and it fails in a it certain failed, way? It failed and it failed in the pedal full on, so we kind of had to panic. But we, this car, even full on, there's no, too not much get up and go. It's kind of like driving a Volkswagen. It is like so driving a Volkswagen. When you floor a Volkswagen, what do you get? <laughs> you what get is not much? Speed? <laughs> well, you know, it depends on whether you're going uphill or not. It, on, like on the freeway where it's flat, you can go 65 easy, yeah. you know, but you're not going to, you know, zero to 65 in five seconds. You're going to go and, you know, it takes a while to get the, the, your momentum going. Uh, you know, hills is where it really sucks the power and um, where you see the performance go down.